Hi everyone! In this video we're going to look at Urban Decay's two new Oz palettes inspired by the upcoming Disney movie Oz the Great and Powerful. So these are two new limited edition eyeshadow palettes. They are available for purchase through UrbanDecay.com, Ulta, and Sephora, and each palette costs $49. So we'll start with the Theodora palette, and in each of these boxes you get both the eyeshadow palette and you get a lip product, which is the super saturated high gloss lip color. And this one is going to be in the shade Theodora. For the eyeshadow palette, it comes in this tin container. That's what it looks like on the back. It's just a flip up compact. And as you can see, you get six tins here, or pans, for the eyeshadows, which are removable. And each has the name of the color on the back. And then two of the six pans are divided into two different shades. So you get a total of eight eyeshadow colors. And then you also get a 24-7 glide-on pencil. This is in the shade Zero, which is a black shade. Each kit also comes with an insert and a sort of guide for using each of the colors to create this look. This time around, each palette does contain all new shades, which is pretty atypical for Urban Decay. Urban Decay has kind of gotten a reputation for really recycling a lot of the colors in their palettes, so I think they're trying to change that a little bit and come out with new limited edition not seen before shades. So for the Theodora palette, we have, starting here, Broken, Beware, Bewitch, West, Spell, and Jealous. And here are these shades up close. Over primer, here's the shade Broken. It's just a very light cream, slightly shimmery shade. Very soft and smooth application. Next is Beware, which is a light to medium matte brown. Which is a medium brown with a satin finish. It's a little more crumbly. West is a deep metallic brown. Here is one side of Spell which is a black with silver shimmers. Adding more product to make this more smooth. And on the other side is this almost green toned gold shade with a metallic finish. It does have glitter particles in it also. It's this almost lime colored gold. And that black shade is not as smooth as the other shades. And Jealous, which on one end has a medium to dark fern green shade, and on the other side has a lighter muted lime green shade, both of them with shimmery finishes. Here is the super saturated lip color in Theodora. It's got a pretty creamy formula. It's not drying, although it's not that hydrating either, and it is very opaquely pigmented. And here is the 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Zero. Again, very creamy formula and very pigmented. And here is the Glinda palette set, again with a super saturated high gloss lip color, this time in the shade Glinda which is a pink tone. Here is the tin palette. This is what the other side looks like. Here are the shades inside. 
Again, you get a 24-7 Glide On eye pencil, this time in the shade Rockstar, which is a purple shade. And the shades for this palette are Tornado, Aura, Magic, Illusion, Oz, and South. And here are the shades up close. And once again, you get an insert with an eye look and instructions on the back. First up is Tornado, which is this vibrant medium purple shade. Shimmery finish. Next is Aura, which has two colors in it. And on the left is a white with a blue shift. So you get a duochrome effect. Beautiful, smooth, good pigmentation. And on the right side, you get this cream color with a golden pink shift. Not quite as vibrant of a white at the base, but it still has that duochrome effect much more subtly. And here is Magic, which is a pinkish purple. Not as shimmery, though it technically does have shimmer particles in it. Here is Illusion, which is a pale peach and has a satin finish. Very smooth and creamy formula. Then Oz, which is split in two, and on the left is a gold with silver glitter particles. Surprisingly smooth given the larger size of the glitter particles in this shade. And on the right side, it's this highly metallic silver. And this gold is producing fallout of the shimmer particles, as you can see there. And South, which is this grayish taupe. And it has dispersed silver shimmer. And here we have the super saturated lip color in Glinda, which is this nude, pinky nude shade. It's beautiful, glossy finish there and very pigmented opaque color. And the 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Rockstar, which is this deep eggplant color. Again, very creamy on the skin and has good opaque pigmentation. All right, so there are Urban Decay's two new limited edition Oz palettes, the Theodora and the Glinda palettes. Overall, I think these are very high quality items. I really love the super saturated high gloss lip colors. They are very smooth. They're pretty moisturizing on the skin, not the most moisturizing, not like a lip butter or anything like that, but they definitely won't dry out your lips and yet they have very opaque color and a glossy finish. The eyeshadows are also very good quality. I think compared to the single pan or single shade pans, the duo shade pans are comparatively less high quality. They have a couple more problems with smoothness and pigmentation, but the difference is pretty minor. And the 24-7 Glide On eye pencils, not surprisingly, are also very high quality. If I really had to choose, I would prefer the Glinda palette over the Theodora palette. I like the duochromed colors in the shade Aura, and I was more impressed by the chunky glittery shades because they were actually smooth on the skin, even though they did have larger glitter particles. Whereas with the Theodora palette, I felt like the duo shade pans were not as smooth and pigmented on the skin. But again, the difference between the two palettes in terms of quality is very, very small. And I think a lot of people will think that they are equally matched in terms of quality. As always, if you would like to see photographs of these swatches and of the products, also of the lip products actually applied to my lips, please go to lurabeauty.com. I have photos and full written reviews of each of these products for you on there. If you have any questions after reading those reviews and watching this video, I would be happy to answer them in the comments section below or on the website. And if you just want to share any of your thoughts, I am always interested in hearing what my viewers and my readers think of these products. So please feel free to share those in the comment section also. All right, thank you for taking your time and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at these two palettes with me, and I'll see you in the next video.